Hello and welcome back to Baguettes and Asbos where today John sits on a car. Matthew does some filming and we put a front end on a Clio. We're doing the intro at the end of the video. So today we fitted a bonnet, we fitted headlights, we fitted a bumper, new bonnet hinges, a full cooling system along with coming here a little bit closer. We had to uh, modify this pipe. It did shoot into the uh, heater matrix for the heaters inside the car, which we don't have anymore. So that has gone. We have fitted all the radiator up. As you can see, the water level is sitting right. We've had it running for a long time. She's happy days. If you have an immobilizer issue, there's a key, there's an ECU and there's a UCH. Oh, and also the key, the ring sensor around the thing. Never have I known that you have to change your clocks today's problem was we were running fine we got the car up to temperature and the immobilizer kicked in and matthew had to state that he's uh, seen that you have to change the clocks on roots garage shout out roots shout garage out because we changed them and bosh she starts again it's been running for two weeks with these clocks in but the clocks were temperamental we messed with a bolt which is an earth strap and then all of a sudden, a mobilizer kicked in, so we had to swap them out. Flashback. As you can see, we removed the bonnet, obviously for help with the uh, removal of the engine. But first thing we got it off, it didn't fasten the bonnet, and it flew up when it was on track. That didn't sound really good. Sure that yeah, we've got a little helper. Miles out. Right, MOT time. Typical French wiring. Impress the window. And the speedo goes up. 70 mile an hour windows. Cal. Hello, mate. Johnny Reb short changing the cashier. She's fuming, yeah? Fuming, mate. Fuming. To be fair, that was like, when, oh, I knew I went one P over, and I was like, oh, I owe you a penny, and she's like, no, you owe me three P. I was like, you what? It's because it's just expensive stuff, in it, mate? Yeah. Have you gone for 99, yeah? Of course. The next day. Fresh start today. Doing a load of tedious stuff. These little bars need rubbing down. Painting. All the brake calipers, I know we've started these already, but this is so long to try and get these all. Uh, bolt these back on the subframe. We're just going to go around today and bolt a load of miscellaneous bits on that are lying around, basically on that shelf. And once that shelf is empty, that old wooden shelf can go in the bin. We've got one done. It's suitable for paint. It's not 100%. But it's 100 times better than that. So let's make that one look like that. And then let's get some paint on them bad boys. Back in the trusty spray booth. They was ready. But I've given them another lick. So they should be even stronger this time round. I am getting that as best as I can. I do not have the time to do the same to that. I'm thinking that I'm going to put them back on, as is, all the brakes, all round, and then I'm going to do my trap day, and then I am going to purchase a sandblasting box thing, and I'm going to do all these myself at a later point. I've got the wheel off, let's get these brakes back on. 
but I've just noticed we'll do that first and then we'll get the brakes on. So let's go. One side complete brake done painted, discs, pads, calipers, brake lines, anti roll bar. Now let's get the other side on. I might actually put that subframe bracket on there now. Let's put that on first and then get the wheel on. The next day. Now you see it? Oh, spicy. Let's get them off and let's get these little rascals on. Let's get it jacked up front end because as we was at yesterday, when we got rained off. I need to do the passenger side, put the brakes on and whatnot. So get the front jacked up, get it on axle stand, get the wheels off, and then it could, we'll start on this side. I'll drop the um, shocker off the back of the hub, and then we'll bolt this on. The, oh, we will put this bottom piece of this, I did already have it all out. We'll have the bottom piece of this on, I'm presuming we bolt it on to there first, we'll find out, pass away with me, and if we take this apart, and as you can see defo didn't get round sorting the garage out, sorted that side out, right anyway, so this thing needs to go underneath this this uh, tower so as I said let's get it jacked up we've got one in here's a little clean up because we have had some trials and tribulations for you eagle eye viewers you will have noticed that I unscrewed that I don't like to try and play um, something I'm not I unscrewed that, I jacked the car up to axle stand it, as you can see, it's on the axle, obviously that fell clean through, so I had an absolute nightmare, now in the last video I did, in the last slip, slip I just did, I did say that I already had the holes, now my god, I've had to just bore them out a little bit because I was going to end up rounding one of these three off, so that is bolted to the car, but I still need to put the shocker in because I had to take the whole thing off so now I just need to get this gas beauty bolt it up put my top nut on there and then I'll bolt the bottom back into the hub next side won't be as hard because I'll just put a jack underneath the wheel sorry I'll put a jack underneath the wheel be a lot easier I will film the other side but yeah this car is going to be crazy because like nothing moves <laughs> nothing moves the only play that is going to be what i set these shocks to but yeah let's jab jibber jabber in let's get on with this right one all done now i know and i've had a clear up i can get this other one done a lot quicker and i will film me doing it but i did have trials and tribulations and yeah, I've shown you what I've had to do. Now we'll film me doing the other one. It's, I did, I was filming and it stopped. So, as you can see, one KTEC racing top mount. I'll tighten that up once the car's dropped on the floor. Hi. <laughs>
Okay, so this is what I've been doing under here. Just put these brackets on. One there, one on the other side there. Um, just look how lovely it looks though now. Everything being new. New track rod end, new wishbones, power flex mount, new ball joints up there. As I did say to you guys, I did all three arches, but I didn't actually do this one. So this one does need a little bit of thing, but I'm just trying to get it put back together so we can actually get it on the track, give it a shake down before then I have to do this midsection. The rear is done. All the front is done. It's just this arch and the midsection. Big clear up going on today. You can put it on a rotisserie. Only everything I need to get off is on the other side. I'm gonna roll it. I just don't wanna roll it into the fence. She's all tucked away now in the corner. I've moved the back end about I don't know, five, six foot or something. Could do with moving it forward, really. And it'll go more that way. I just can't do it on my own, but we'll get there, lad.